My name is Sam Rodwell. I work 10 hours at Greenwich Residential, 16 hours at McDonald's, and I work some Fridays and I work Saturdays down in the rugby club. My name is Darren Greenway, Managing Director of Greenway Residential Estate Agents in Crawley. I learned about WorkAid from the Crawley Rugby Club where we sponsor a team and I saw that they had people working there that had learning difficulties and realised that we could have carved a rollout for people within my company allowing the manager and other team to work on other projects which directly affects my bottom line. Hi, my name is Simon Brown. I'm the branch manager here at Greenaway Residential Estate Agency in Crawley. After Darren initially introduced me to the idea, um, he had a meeting with WorkAid. I'll be honest, I did have a few reservations about bringing somebody with disabilities into the workplace. Um, so a second meeting was set up where WorkAid, the Audenborn Trust, came into the workplace here um, and we had a team meeting to discuss that. Um, I'll be completely honest, we did have a very um, frank and forthright conversation about the situation and who was going to come into the business, what they could do, what they couldn't do. Um, and it was very informative and our thoughts were, and our sort of concerns were eased considerably. After we first met Sam, um, we got to know him very quickly. There was a representative from WorkAid present as well. Um, so it was very sort of easy to establish what Sam's skill sets were and what his skill sets weren't is the best way of putting it. Um, once we had that initial meeting, we were then able to go through the team, what their individual roles were, and we were able to hive off some of their workload in line with Sam's skill sets that we could obviously give to him to do. Um, from the team point of view, it's freed up them considerably to, so they can actually relax and get on with what they need to be doing and, and not get sidetracked by tasks that possibly detracted from the main thing that they were here to do. Now that Sam's been working with us for a few weeks, I think our early apprehensions have been eased considerably. Um, he's integrated well into the team and we look at him just as another member of the staff. You know, he comes here, he gets here on time, he does what he needs to do, he works well and integrates well with the team. And then he goes home at the end of his working day and say he's no different to any other member of staff and we're very happy to have him here. I would encourage all employers to speak to the WorkAid team and see how that they would be able to look within their organisations to find placements for people. You will never find a harder working and more loyal individual that will turn up to work no matter what the weather is and will do their best for you. Hi, I'm, I'm John O'Dwyer. I'm a, a McDonald's franchisee in the Crawley, Horsham and East Vincent area. This, the restaurant we're in is our busiest restaurant, which serves in excess of 1.4 million customers in total per year. And um, as part of the necessity to be able to, to service that level of customer, we, we have a, in excess of 100 employees at this location. So I was um, introduced to, to WorkAid initially through a networking meeting at the Crawley Rugby Club. Came interested in, in uh, the whole setup and what they were what they were achieving with the Aldingborn Trust, and as a consequence of that, we set up a variety of meetings. And now, with the interviewing process, one of the things I did have to do was intervene because we have quite a thorough, well constructed uh, vetting system before you even get to interview. Uh, which part of which is that there is a test that has to be uh, sat by each each candidate online. So I, I intervened in res the respect that I made sure that he did get beyond that stage if it was an, an issue and he actually got to, to an interview in the restaurant. Now uh, with regard to, to Sam, as an employee I would, uh, I would say Sam is one of our most dependable, reliable and he's a very good fun person to have employed with us as well. But we've had to initially spend more time uh, in supervising him than you would possibly with, with someone else. However, once this, his skill set has been worked on and he's mastered the tasks that he's been taught, he can work with very little supervision and works to a, a high standard. So it's not a drain on our resources, it's certainly not a drain on our profitability and uh, he's a very valuable well-liked and well-respected member of our team. So I would definitely encourage any employee to, to exploit, for want of a better word, this available market, uh, this labour market. It's something that um, really 
it to my mind is a no-brainer, it causes no issues for us, just a little bit of, um, more attention, more supervision and uh, probably more thorough training at the initial stage. So I've learnt new skills and I've done training all the way through learning each step of the way. Um, I sweep the floor, I cook the burgers and dress the burgers. That means I get paid work, make new friends and it's a lot of fun. So uh, my name's Mark Rodwell, I'm commercial manager here at Crawley Rugby Club. So initially I found out about WorkAid through, through my son Sam um, and them supporting Sam and at the same time I was, we were setting up, the club was setting up um, a support network here, a social club for young adults with special needs. So the two dovetailed very well together um, and then talking to the committee we, uh, we agreed that we'd start to actually employ um, some of the All England Trust uh, guys um, and girls to to help them and, and also to help us um, set up the pitch on a, on a Saturday um, at uh, senior games and do the scoring so um, it works very very well now um, we've, uh, we're probably on our third generation of, uh, of people from Orlingbourne that have come through and um, it's really good that um, the people that we have had in the past and moved on have all moved on to to better jobs and it's really enhanced them as, as people. I mean recently we've had a, a game of um, our senior players actually playing a, um, a squad from Bradford of mixed ability uh, rugby which was a fantastic day. Um, but on a day-to-day -day -day level here at the club we see a good interaction between, um, between the young adults and the players and in fact you know we've seen players recommend to their employers about taking on um, young adults with special needs and and it's happened it, you know people have signed up and we can, and Orlingborn now have people from our Sunday social signed in to employers through the rugby club which has been you know again something to take immense pride of pride from personally but also real encouragement because you see those young people actually developing and getting better confidence so the changes I've seen in Sam um, since working with all since he's been with all born have been immense I think you know it started with him uh, getting job experience and volunteering at, 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 at certain venues through the county uh, and has culminated in having him being very secure into you know, what are mainstream mainstream jobs and you know circa 35 hours a week. So from a personal point of view I really would recommend people considering taking working with Audrey Bourne and, and, and taking on young adults with special needs and I think I, I can look at it from a, an, em, an employer perspective as well as a, a, a dad perspective as, as Sam's father so you know as an employer it's amazing the reward you get as an employer to see people grow and grow in confidence and, and that's massive and then I do see the other side of that uh, with my own son and, and what Allingbourne has done for him so um, yeah it's just a real win-win.